Dunwall is changing fast. Six months ago, Draper's ward was where Dunwall's rich and well-born strolled and shopped and tried to be seen. The plague burned through it in days. Today, it's a battleground where two street gangs fight over the spoils. The Hatters and Lizzie's gang, the Dead Eels. Lizzie Stride was the boss until Edgar Wakefield betrayed her and took her place. And her riverboat. It's the kind of thing that happens every day in Dunwall. I don't judge him. I've done worse myself. But I need that boat. Edgar Wakefield and I have business. The textile mill used to run off a water wheel before the canal went dry. It started up again recently, and whatever the Hatters did to get it working has enraged the dead eels. They're fighting in the streets. Don't look at me. Try to roam.
thought I was finished. They'll never believe who saved me. Draper's Ward Salvage and Resale, or the black market if you'd prefer. It's Dowd, right? Recognized your face from the posters. Not that I'd ever say anything to anyone, believe me. I'd be happy to have you for a customer. What are you selling? The best of Draper's Ward, all for sale. Lizzie. Lizzie enjoyed it more. Yeah, even Lizzie never drowned victims in a sack. I can still see him squirming for air. Yeah, how's he gonna top that? Who would have thought? Maggot Montaigne on a boat in Dunwall. A long way from Karnaka. Edgar Wakefield is on board the Undine. He's put all of the eels on alert since Lizzie's rumored to have escaped from Coldridge. He's expecting her. You will undoubtedly be a surprise to him. Fish guts. I don't let him get there. 
Someone's run about to get shanked. Help me look. I think this would work. You're down. What... what brings you here? Lizzie Stride owes me a favor. I'm sorry to hear that. You see, the watch picked her up. I'm trying to hold things together while she's in Coldridge. I'm awfully busy at the moment. I won't take too much of your time, but there's the matter of that favor. Yeah? What exactly does she owe you for? First, for getting her out of Coldridge. Second, for what's about to happen right now. Where'd you run off? What the? Uh, gotcha. uh, somebody, give me a hand. Time to signal Lizzie. Uh. Lizzie Stride is assuming control of the Dead Eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. Your friend Edgar Wakefield sent me up to be taken by the City Watch. And you followed him. Took his orders. But you know what? I forgive you. All of you. I'm filled with love. But... The following people each owe me a finger. Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Pigface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two from you, Annabelle. Have a good night. You should get where you're going, little man. That piece of garbage, Edgar. I'm still living with his incompetence. He let the Hatters cripple the Undine. The ship seems fine to me. They took the engine coil. We're dead in the water. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't make them anymore. Not for an engine like the Undines. We'll have to get it back. The geezer still leads the Hatter gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. It won't be that easy. There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? The Gazer's about a hundred years old by now. He's got it rigged so that if he dies, the whole place gets gassed. So they're real careful around him. Got him a nurse and everything. Maybe you can cut a deal for that engine coil. Turn on the charm. One of the Hatters gave me their door password in exchange for keeping the rest of his fingers. It's whalebone. I never got to use it on account of the gas. And being in jail. Just be ready to move when I get back.
anything to smoke or eat? Huh. This is the doubt I remember. Corvo left his mark on Cold Ridge, but they won't soon forget you either. What a relief. Life has been remarkably grim in Dunwall lately. This business with the eels might call for a little more diplomacy. But in the long view, a smoking ruin makes as good a monument as any. Shut up. That's a lot of fingers. Lizzie's pissed. What are you planning? Me and Ferris are crossing the canal later on. You really think the outsider ain't real? What I see Dowd do then? Just because he can do strange things doesn't mean there's an invisible man watching us. I'll ask him how he does it. Are you crazy? Don't you dare. Are you supposed to be scary? You should get where you're going, little man. Are you supposed to be scary? What are you looking at? Are you supposed to be scary? Delilah, are you with her? No, but you don't have any roses. What can you tell me about Delilah? I used to make clothing for the Caldwins, you see. I adored them, especially young, precocious Emily. She was such a delight. Did you ever meet the Empress? She was so special. And I was able to count her among my friends. I had a lock of hair from young Emily, a keepsake given to me by the family when my hands grew too stiff and clumsy to work the needle. I have treasured it so. And Delilah? She visited me here. Such a surprise to see her, all grown up. So serious. Did you know she was once a playmate of Jessamine's? Before she was Empress when they were both little. I thought it was a cordial visit at first, but it turned frightening. What happened? She made things come out of the shadows, long and grasping. I can still feel the cold on my neck. I sound mad, don't I? 
Perhaps I am. She questioned me and left me propped in the corner like a bolt of cloth. I couldn't move for three nights while she made the horrid markings you see now. Then she stole my only keepsake, my lock of hair from dear sweet Emily. Ah, Emily, where are you? Damn that Corvo and damn Delilah. Emily, she was such a sweet girl. <sighs> I think Delilah may be insane. Looks like the end for you, fancy boy. Two on one, huh? If I had a blade, I'd gut both of you in a heartbeat. Well, you don't. And we do. Kill him, Sammy. Calm down, boy. You gotta learn to savor the kill. Get Come me out of here! Let's get this <laughs> That's what happens when you tangle with a dead eel. Definitely somebody still about. Sneaking around. Watch it. A sweet lady named Abigail left a little something for you. How did she know you were coming here? I have no idea. It's in my safe. Please, take it away. I've had nightmares since it arrived here. Say, would you consider doing a job for me? There's a man whose debt to me is well past due. I'm not a bill collector. I don't want the money. I want his head. I'd pay you well. And you can use the money to buy things from me. I'll do it. Thank you. Skinflint is a chain smoker. He likes to light up in the old canal tunnel and play Nancy for coin. I'd start there. Make an example of him. Got it. Now let me see what you've got. The best of Draper's Ward. All for sale. You're keeping my little job in mind. Skin Flint is dead. Delightful. As agreed, your reward. Please, take your pick. What's the password? 
whalebone. Come in, Hatter. Sir, the Hatters are using the textile machines to make shrouds for the plague dead. Now we know why they took the engine coil. The man who runs the Hatters is more cunning than he looks. He can flood this place with a toxic gas. In time, it'll eat through our air filters. You may have to make a deal. Who just went through here? The Empress did. She had Corvo and Tana with her. They weren't wearing no clothes. Keep your hand on. Just because you're in charge of the game, don't mean the rest of us. Check it. Fine. I don't know why you're worried about nothing.
Wakefield's miscalculated badly. I predicted this would happen, of course. A man like Wakefield knows which end of a knife is for stabbing, but not much else. What's that? Oh, stop complaining, old man. I'm giving you a legacy. What were the Hatters before I arrived? I'll tell you. A shadow of their former selves. The butt of numerous jokes, in fact. Why did the Hatter piss in his own hat? What did the Hatter do with his last bullet? And so on. The answers aren't worth repeating. Leadership. That's what was missing. What with the embarrassing defeat at the hands of the Bottle Street Boys, of all things. <laughs> there now. You mustn't become agitated. You'll inflame your arteries, which will only cause you unneeded agony. I can ease the pain, but only if you promise to behave yourself. No? Ah, that reminds me. I must see Jerome about getting more ox rush. I'm fresh out. My name's Dowd. I'm looking for Lizzie Stride's missing engine coil. I'm giving you a chance to make a deal. It's a great job of just a big thing I'm about, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. Very reasonable offer. Geezer here says you're in luck. We only need that engine coil because someone shut off the flow that turns our water wheel. I sent men into the sewers to restore the flow and not one of them came back. But what stopped them won't be a problem for the famous Dowd, will it? When the water flows, I'll give you the engine coil. Here's the key to the sewer entrance. And it's a pleasure to do business with you, Mr. Dowd. The Hatters will behave themselves, as long as you keep your end of the bargain, Dowd. <laughs> Chief needs his rest. I lost a man named Pete down there. Keep an eye out. The eels could be on watch in there. Those sewers date back to well before the Caldwin dynasty. No telling what's in there. I'm sure the great Dowd isn't afraid of what's down there. Set this and forget. <laughs> Running a war. Oh, man. 
assassin. Kill me. This contraption trembles machine. Get it off me. Let me die. I'll give you what you want. All I have to do is pull that oil tank. No, not yet. Trimble's machine keeps me alive, but he's rigged it so that gas will flood the mill if I die. <laughs> Insurance. Search Trimble's quarters. Upstairs, he has antitoxin he drinks every day, just in case I croak. You'll have to make some to survive the gas. But everyone will die. Not just you. These hatters. They're not my hatters, don't deserve the name. Triple's been calling the shots for years. <laughs> they can choke and die every last one. Don't wait around, kid. Trimble's been pulling my strings for years. Time to end this. I give away the whole damn factory for not taking a proper piss. Trimble thinks he's a smart one. <laughs>
you'll be needing this again. She's auditioning the Dunwall Opera. More like the Golden Cat. She caught that hatter easy enough. That fool. What if Dowd comes this way? He won't fall for a pretty face and a few tears. Then so much for our little sister. But we'll make sure the job is done. She's a fool of us. When the change comes, we only want the weaker sisters nearby. That makes no sense. Our power flows from Delilah. Without her, we'd be reduced to dancing under the moon and parlor tricks. You must be wrong. Why else would she put us here, right in his path? I wish he'd hurry up and come already.
knows you're coming, cutting a bloody path through the city in search of her. Your nastiest work in years. She's afraid of you. But Delilah's a brilliant woman. Her coven is rising, with her as the night star to guide them. And once she's hatched her new schemes, she'll have a different kind of power. An empire instead of a coven. I wish you luck. I don't decide who wins and whose body gets tossed in the river to rot. But I do enjoy watching. could have had an easy death. Tell me what Delilah's doing at Brigmore. Why ask? When the change comes, you won't even notice. You'll never even know how we won. But when Delilah sits the secret throne, our reign will never end. That's enough. The gangs are at each other's throats. Dowd is mired here. Dowd. Lurk told me you wouldn't give up. Even as she knelt before me and gave me all your secrets. I know what you're doing, Dowd. I know what that mark on your hand is. Just like the one on mine. I know everything you can do, and it won't matter. Four of us chosen. But history will only remember one. Delilah. If they remember any of us.
best of Draper's Ward, all for sale. Please, take your pick. in the streets. Reminds me of the Bottle Street mess we got into once. The geezer mentioned you before he died. He's really gone? What's it matter? Nothing. He was just a cracked old man. Reattach that coil and we'll start up river tonight. You are an endless source of adventure, Dowd. Please, do the honors, Dowd. Fire up the engine from the bridge. Get us in the way. I'm ready to put Cold Ridge far behind us. Soon we'll be back out on the river. Things will be right. Soon we'll be back out on the river. Things will be right. 